Meow. So we'll start with the head here. I love to get that swing for the ears there. It just kind of helps connect the ears as one unit to, for unity in the drawing. And as I draw more lines over top of my lines, I'm just fine in my way. Nice swing there that kind of matches the ear swing too. Really like unity and rhythm in my drawing. Just fine in my way here. And once I'm pretty sure I got the lines where I want them, I start to thicken and darken them up. We end up with a lot of extra lines, but we'll deal with that later. In fact, we won't have to do a whole lot of dealing with it. You'll see that they just really become part of the rhythm and the movement and tone in the drawing. They kind of disappear into the background as I move on. This is my second licking cat uh, tutorial. Plan to do a few more. Just getting a feel for where those eyes go. Just gotta kinda stop and ponder first. And it's the little imperfections that make drawing beautiful. Feel for the nose again here. Hesitating as I get the feel for it. It's definitely a different shape mouth for this pose, this grooming pose. And we'll get some quick flicky lines for to make that tongue. Thinking about each stroke. You'll see I've got lots of I started with that swoop for the ears and I've got lots of lines that kind of replicate that swoop throughout my drawing. And that again really helps unify it, give it rhythm. Give it interest. Just a quick gesture of toe lines there. This, a, this is a simple drawing and I want to keep it simple. Simple and with character. And that's why I don't automatically try to correct every imperfect line because it's those imperfect lines that give the drawing its character. They give it its authenticity the human aspect. A good drawing looks drawn, it really does. And I encourage you to, to do lots of these quick gesture drawings. The, the learning is phenomenal. Just a suggestion of some markings. Just kind of impressionistic. Wondering, deciding if I like it or not, and I think I do. I'm 
just strengthening up the lines that are really important and that help the eye flow throughout the drawing. Just adding those last little bits. I think it's done. I do hope you subscribe so you don't miss a future video and turn on that notification button. See you next time.